Hey guys, welcome back to the Smart Algo YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you the five minute futures trading strategy. So we will use the Smart Algo Pro V2 indicator. If you guys don't already have this indicator, click on the first link in the description below to get access. So I've already attached the Smart Algo Pro V2 indicator to the chart. And for this, we're going to use the default settings. We don't need to add anything else to the chart. And on my chart, I have the ES, E-mini, S&P 500 instrument loaded. There is one thing that you want to change in the settings of the indicator for the strategy. You want to click on the gear icon next to the indicator and turn on the moving average filter. This acts as a trend filter. So it will only filter trades which are pro trend, which means that it will only take trades when price is below the moving average. And when price is above the moving average, it will print buy and sell signals. Now, do you want to change the SMA to EMA? You'll see that if I zoom out here, you can see, for example, this part here where there's like this buy signal and then the buy signal lasts all the way down here. Well, if we change it to EMA, you can see that the problem is fixed. We have a sell signal instead of the buy lasting all the way down here. So for this strategy, it's very simple, guys. All you need to do is wait for a buy or sell signal to appear. So for example, we have a buy signal printed here on the left. Then all we need to do is enter at the close of the candle so it will be here of the signal candle and then we would place our stop loss at the low so for example it will be here the low of the structure would be this point here what i mean by low is that for example for a buy trade if we have any sort of v-shaped structure to the left it would be considered a low this here can also be considered a low but it might be too close to the buy signal, which will be generated here. If we have a stop loss of around this region here, it would give our trade a lot more wiggle room. Now for our take profit, we would use a one to one risk reward ratio. You can always increase it if you want, but for our strategy, we will use a one to one risk to reward ratio. So you can see that for this case, you actually increase the risk reward ratio to one to two. And you can see that for a lot of cases on the right here, you can actually do the same. Now I'm going to leave this decision to you. You guys can choose which risk to reward ratio you guys want to use. But because this is a scalping strategy, we are not targeting huge moves. We want to be in and out of trades really quickly. So next, let's look at the sell trade. We have a sell signal printed. So we'll enter the close of the candle. And then we would place our stop loss at the high here. Once again, one to one risk to reward ratio. There we go. Another trade here. Another sell trade. We would enter here. We would place our stops around this area here. And uh, one to one risk to reward ratio. There we go. Once again, another sell trade. Entry on the candle open. and one to one risk reward ratio. So you can see currently we have four trades and then all four of them have hit take profit, leaving us at around 4%. So let's move to the right. We have two buy trades, so let's enter those. We will place our stop loss here, which is where the low is, or you can place it somewhere around here. As this is also another low. And we have one to one risk reward ratio. Boom, hit. Same here. We're placing a stop loss around the low. One to one risk reward. So here we have a loss. Straight away, we can see that it's a loss. So we would have our buy trade, which resulted in a loss here. Then we had a sell trade. So we'd enter at the close of the current candle and open up the next candle. And we would put our stop loss around the high here. One to one risk reward ratio. There we go. Next we have a buy trade. So same here we have a loss, I believe. We have a loss of the buy trade, but we also have a sell trade. Place the stop loss and we have a win for the sell. Then we have another buy trade. We would enter at the open.
and we'll place our stop just around the low here, the swing low. And one to one risk reward ratio, there we go. So overall from this sideways move, you can see that the strategy worked as well. So we had two losses and two wins, which resulted in a break even. And then we had one win here. So from this sideways move, we actually made 1%. Now we have this sell trade here. So we can once again take a short position right here. And then we would place our stops around this high here. One to one risk to reward ratio. There we go. So you can see how accurate this strategy is. It's quick and simple. All you need are the buy and sell signals, nothing else. You guys can always choose where to place your stops and your take profits. So if we look to the right, we have more examples. So this is the beauty of using the moving average trend filter is that we have trades that follow with the trend. For example, if we took this trade all the way down here, we could have made 25%. For this sell trade here, we have a sell signal and then we would place our entry at the open of the next candle. We place our stop loss at the high here and we have a one to one risk reward ratio, boom. Same here. Take profit hit. And same here, we have our stop loss around this high here. And then one to one. Boom, there we go, take profit hit. This strategy is really, really powerful guys. It doesn't require much analysis since the indicator does all of that for you. So if you guys don't already have access to Smart Algo Pro, click on the first link in the description below to get access to Smart Algo. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.